So I have here my SSD SATA. So this is my SSD SATA. I bought this very new. So this is my external. Uh, the problem of this so it's not recognized with my laptop I already use this one with my laptop but it's not recognized so for you to able to recognize this SSD 3.0 it's a 3.0 it's not a type C I really upset for, to the seller of this SATA I order SSD or enclosure type C but they sent me the 3.0 it's not 3.1 3.0 so for you to identify the seller who are selling this kind of SSD you can check this uh, I will show you the the link of this seller on Shopee. It's very upset. I'm all upset of the seller who sell this to me. I order Type C, but they sent me an 3.0 enclosure. So this one is not recognized. My computer so as you can see i will show you the ssd in my computer so it's already there just only the d and the c drive so this one as you can see it's uh it's it's functioning as you can see there's a light but see there's a light but you cannot see the partition or the part of the, the just only the drive D and drive C you cannot see the drive whatsoever drive this one but cannot see so for you to fix this one I will show you how to fix the drive drive e or f of this ssd so for you to fix the problem is just go to the desktop so as you can see you cannot see the the ssd external just only the d and the c so this is the c also is a 240 gigabyte but i have an external or 480 gigabyte so for you to do that you're going to right click the my computer and then right and then click the manage and then just wait to pop up the okay this one and then click the this management this one and then just wait it's loading so it's so just see as you can see here so this is the the drive d and the drive c so the external the 180 a 480 gigabyte it says here is not 480 just only 447 gigabyte unlocated so for you to appear this on your my computer this or laptop you have to click the new volume make it sure right click the new volume and then next it says here welcome to the new simple volume wizard so click the next and then don't change this anymore just click the next and then the drive is E so just remember we have the D D and the C so the external hard drive is the letter E. To click the next. So NSP pass and F. And 
in fs so make it default so don't change this one just only next right next and then completing the new simple volume wizard so click finish so just wait now around second just wait just uh, look at this one is formatting formatting the new hard disk or the ssd just wait the, the computer formatting for the new partition of the hard disk to choose what happened with removable device so they said here healthy primary partition so I have of my 480 gigabyte external they said here that they have only I just only have 447.11 gigabyte so it's already functioning just very simple if you cannot find this uh, problem in your computer so maybe there are there are another problem so as you can see here my drive C drive D and now they have the drive E so this is my external hard disk so just very simple so this one this one is maybe around let's read it for my new external so let's check let's check the hard disk help check drive so check all okay this is the drive D the drive C and the drive E the drive E check help it's uh they said it's diagnosed and also is good and then the D or the C drive is being scanned so head straight resolve so this is the drive d smart data not available so let's check everything was all right check drive currently no error have a cure okay they said is everything is all right everything is okay and also my drive d they said everything all right there is no problem with my drive C of course there is no problem with this because this one is a new I bought this is a 1900 baht but they sell this uh, cost about uh, 1400 so let's check the drive C so they said everything all right currently no error have a cure so there is no problem with my drive C and drive D and also my drive E, which is the external hard drive okay so let's close it so that's it any suggestions just comment below of my youtube channel so this is the 447 gigabyte of out of uh, 480 so i don't know where is the rest capacity of this so this one is just showing you how to fix the problem not showing so just very simple instruction okay guys thank you